For more baseball, we bring in our SNY contributor, John Harper. John, a new hitting coach, Eric Chavez, is in Port St. Lucie as we speak with the prospects right now. Coming off the Mets' recent offensive struggles over the years, what can Chavez do differently in order to have success? Well, Michelle, I think he said it pretty clearly. Uh, he, he, he he was quoted saying that we want our hitters to go up to, into the batter's box with as least information as possible, which I don't think he means literally, but he's, I think he's making the point that he understands. I wrote about this a few weeks ago. Last year, the players were just overwhelmed with analytical information on a daily basis. Hitters meetings run on a daily basis by analytics people rather than the hitting coaches to a point where uh, players are frustrated. The manager was frustrated. So Chavez is a guy, they wanted to get back to a guy with major league experience. Chavez is a guy played a lot, a lot of years, a lot of success in the big leagues. He talks about, you know, he wants his guys to be up there and be athletic, not to be overthinking things, let their instincts take over. You know, once, you know, you got to have a plan, but not be thinking about what pitch a guy's going to throw in this count, what he's going to throw in that count necessarily and thinking too much at times. Uh, and I think Chavez is the right guy at the right time because of that, because he brings a certain presence to that job. Let's talk about the Yankees. Aaron Judge obviously spoke about his contract situation earlier this week. Where does extending Aaron Judge's contract fall in terms of priorities for the Yankees once this lockout ends? Well, it can't be the top of the list, Michelle, because they have so many things to do. They didn't really didn't do anything in terms of building for next for, for 2022 before the lockout started. So they need a shortstop. They got to figure out the first base situation, maybe center field, more pitching. Uh, they look. They, they know Judge wants to stay. That's working in their benefit. He, I think he very much wants to be the next captain of the Yankees. Wants to be a lifetime Yankee like a Derek Jeter. Uh, but he's going to want his money at the same time. Thing is, the Yankees have always been willing to go this distance, let these guys reach free agency uh, because they know they're going to pay them top dollar to keep them. So as long as that's still the, opera, the, the, the modus operandi by Hal Steinbrenner, then it's not the top priority. They can let him go play the season. They don't need to get it done early. They just know they're going to have to pay him when it comes time to pay him.